Hey guys, how's it going? We are on an adventure again. Today is President's Day. Monday, holiday. So I was uh, on Craigslist and doing the shopping on Craigslist, doing the different searches, and something came up. And I set an offer out on it. I got a, a quick response back. You know, send me your phone number. We talked a little bit. And that's where I am off going to right now is to go check out uh, possibly our, our, new, our newest acquisition. And that would be a uh, 1965 Vespa 150 scooter. And the very first thing that I can kind of call, well, I had a mini bike that kind of ran. And then after that, I had got a Vespa motor scooter uh, that was uh, crashed in the front from our mailman. Yeah, rear-ended a car, and I bought it for 15 bucks. And the front wheel was shot, the front forks were bent, and everything. So I just kind of cut everything off the front, the fender, all that kind of stuff, and put a bicycle, 20-inch bicycle front wheel on it, and ran it around forever. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you know those childhood memories never seem to uh, falter. You always kind of chase those little highs. So that's kind of what we're doing now. Now this thing sat for a long period of time. Uh, he helped a friend of his clear out his building or warehouse or barn or garage or whatever it was. And this was kind of like payment for helping to do that. So uh, he had no intention of keeping it. He just planned on selling it. So he sat it for a few months, but nothing really changed since where it was before. And the backstory that I have so far on it is that the guy who bought that had another one, a nicer one, and used that one for parts to fix his up or was going to use it for parts. So I have a feeling he's probably picked off the better stuff, seats and that kind of thing, for uh, the one that he kept or had on the road. And this is what's left over from it. So we'll see what we get. Uh, it could be quite decent. It could be a, a, a pile. It could be somewhere in between. But uh, they're getting very hard to find uh, in our country. Other countries, you know, they're, they're probably more popular. But uh, uh, for here, not so much. So uh, when I get a chance, I if I could turn you on at his place, if he allows that, then we'll go ahead. If not, we'll just kind of continue on uh, after it's in the truck. So I'll see you in a minute. Hello. Yeah. I like to try to find stuff with original paint too, but uh, that's getting really hard to find. Yeah. So what was the backstory with it that he bought another bike? He has a, my, my buddy has one that is uh, all, all totally original, so paint, original paint and everything. And I think he just bought this for pots. That feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying about the floors. And you think he's had it for a long period of time too, right? Yeah. Well, it's been sitting in that warehouse for a long time, but I know it. Now there is, you know better than I do now, where the release clip is for this? Yep, for sure. And you say you got the flywheel for it? Yeah, it's right here. Looks like somebody just stole the points off of it. Yeah, which isn't it's bad at all. Yeah, it. a lot better than somebody taking all the coils, you know. So. Yeah, here's the right here. And you think the only thing you think is missing is just the top I of your cleaner. I think there's the top missing there. I yeah, because there's a set screw right there. Yeah. And then it had a horn that went up. Okay, yeah. And if there's anything else missing, you know, I don't know about right. it. Right. This is just sitting in there. Okay. Headlight rings on the side, probably. Don't know if there's a cable missing or something.
Yeah, wheels don't look too bad at all. Yep. So, it is home, sweet home. And, what a pile. <laughs> it needs absolutely everything, but so be it. It makes for good videos, that's what I figure. And uh, I kind of like them and figure I'd like to have one more in my lifetime. So, this is it. And it's a 65, 150 cc, it's got a four speed on the shifter, the, on the handlebar. You would normally grab a clutch and turn it. And there's your one, two, three, four. So, the biggest thing I'd say right now, it has no spark. I would say that's the biggest issue with it. Uh, probably not running at the moment that we were aware of. And the reason why it doesn't have any spark is because it looks like somebody stole the points in condenser. So I'm probably going to go chase that down and see if I can go find them on eBay or something. But again, as you can tell, it just needs absolutely everything else too. So if somebody knows a good place to kind of chase down parts for this, if you would, just kind of put it down in the comment section. And we can start to acquire bits and pieces for this. And I think we'll probably just cut that one, this one short right here. And uh, we can make this, we'll call this like a teaser. But uh, it's on the list of ones to get done, and uh, we just need to start gathering some parts. But if I can get a points and condenser, we'll screw around with it, at least get the motor to run and give ourselves an assessment and a shopping list of what we need for this. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribing. I'll see you later.